Back in 1997, after the failures of Ray Harford, Rovers went looking for a manager to reclaim the glories of King Kenny. Many faces were linked, but the job went to an Englishman famous for managing abroad. The Rovers' big boys went for ex-Inter Milan manager Roy Hodgson. That's right, a manager famed for his times in Scandinavia and Italy and a respected footballing maestro on the continent was to return to England for the first time since managing Bristol City in 1982. Can this man who did wonders in Sweden and Switzerland bring some joy to a historic club in Lancashire? Or has his experienced manager been cut off from the English game far too long? Well, the short answer to that was no. Despite finishing sixth in his first season in charge, Rovers were not the force they were and trouble was brewing. However, what if we were to give Big Boy another crack at the whip? Can the ex-Liverpool coach get it right this time? Can his connections from the continent help Rovers get promoted to the championship at the first attempt? Let's take a look, shall we? Okay, folks, welcome back to another Football Manager 2018 Blackburn Rovers managerial experiment. Uh, in these uh, episodes, we are recreating the 2017-2018 season, but bringing back a Blackburn Rovers manager from the past. And in this episode, we are going old school and bringing back a uh, former England manager and former Liverpool coach, Roy Hodgson. That's right. Let's go check it out and show you what I'm talking about. So here we are, folks, at the uh, Blackburn Rovers main screen. And there you can see Roy Hodgson is, in fact, in charge. He's actually on £50,000 a week. Barmy money. Barmy money. So with that money, you expect great results. He is actually 69 years of age, uh, knocking on a bit. But he's got an excellent reputation, just shy of four stars. And the statistics are all there in uh, good numbers. And look at that. Track history is pretty decent managing abroad. But when his time came to, Black to manage Blackburn Rovers back in the 90s, he finished sixth in his opening season, but then failed in the second season to actually improve on that. But what, what, what's, what has time taught us about Roy Hodgson? Can he go back now and bring us back to the championship at the first attempt? So let's waste no more time, recreate the season and see what he's done at the end of May. <laughs> So here we are, folks, at the end of May, 31st of May, 2018. And let's bring up Blackburn Rovers and see just how well we've done. In fact, we're going to do a little bit of a shortcut here. We're going to go via this shortcut and just see how well they've done. <sighs> so already a little bit of a tease here, a little bit of a tease. But it looks like uh, Wigan are actually the champions. Let's go look at the table itself. And there you have it. In fact, Roy Hodgson uh, only managed to achieve second place. Uh, this season, but he did bring up a tally of 82 points. All in all, he, so basically he achieved what Tony Mowbray did by finishing second, but way, way, way short of what he amassed with 96 points. In fact, Roy Hodgson's tally is more closer to Paul Lambert than it is to uh, to the top end of the table. Uh, let's take a look at how his Blackburn Rovers team fared this season. Uh, first and foremost, let's look at his transfers. Uh, brought in three players this season, did Roy. Uh, Massimo Donati, uh, free transfers. Actually, uh, looks like he's been sold already. 37-year-old, uh, former under-21 international for Italy. Uh, played nine times for Rovers this season before getting sold to uh, join Scott or rejoin Scottish football back up at Partick, where he had a bit more uh, first-team action and a little bit more uh, positive play. Gregory was also brought in, 37-year-old Martinique defender, uh, featured no times whatsoever. Last time out, he was featured in Indian football. Uh, so scraping the bottom of, the bottom of the barrel there. And Clark Robertson was brought in from Blackpool. Again, another defender, um, but this time just featured the four times this season for Rovers. But he also featured 26 times for Blackpool this season. As for the players going out, Donati, we already mentioned him. Lewis Corey, he's gone and uh, joined uh, West Brom. He's one of our youngsters. Always seems to be getting sold. And Paul Caddis is off to Dundee where he played uh, about 10, 10 or so matches for Dundee. He also played 17 matches earlier in the season for uh, Blackburn Rovers. So let's take a look at the statistics now for Rovers this season. Selection now, we're on, we're on the right menu. Uh, Paul Downing tops the table with 54 appearances. Uh, second place is David Ryer with 52. Uh, joining him is Charlie Morgan, also on 52. Elliot Bennett in fourth place, 51 appearances. And Jack Payne wraps up the top five with 45 appearances. As for goals, no major score lines here. Adam Armstrong uh, tops the goal scoring charts with 13 goals. Dominic Samuel is in second with 10, uh, Danny Graham's in third, nine goals. Marcus Anderson has uh, eight. And Elliot Bennett wraps up the top five with seven. As for the assists, Elliot Bennett tops the table. No surprise there. 
uh, with 14 assists. Dominic Samuels in second with nine. Corey Evans in third with six. Uh, Richie Small's got five. And Amari Bell wraps it up in the top five. As for the uh, best player of the season, looks like Joe Nuttall gets this honour, but not really. He only made five appearances, but scored four goals in those five appearances. Paul Downing does top the table with a 7.11 average rating. Dominic Samuel in second with 7.08. Elliot Bennett in third with 7.07. Corey Evans in fourth with a straight up seven. And wrapping up the top five is Adam Armstrong with 6.99. In fact, Bradley Dak is also on the same score. But how do those numbers rate to the players in the actual first in, in League One. Actually, Jack Marriott tops the goal-scoring charts in a three-way tie, actually. Jack Marriott, Ewan Doyle, and Omar Boggle. 21 goals this season for those three. Then it's Paddy Madden in uh, joint, technically second, but realistically fourth, uh, with 20 goals. Tommy Eves wraps up the top five with 17 goals. There is no, in fact, Adam Armstrong all the way down, joint 13th, with 11 goals this season. How about the assists? Uh, Elliot Bennett tops that table. Uh, in fact, joint top with Ben Pringle. They both got 13 assists. Um, but how many games did they play? I think it looks like uh, Elliot Bennett tops it by making one less appearance than Ben Pringle. Billy Bingham is in third place with 11 assists. In fact, joint uh, joint third with Connor Ronan. Both of them got 11 assists. And Joe Newell wraps up a uh, congested top five with Alex Gibley and Cameron McGlean, uh, McGeehan with 10 assists for the season. How about best player? Well, that is uh, no surprise there. Josh Timmon tops the table with that one. He's uh, ever-present in these experiments. 7.23 average for him. Jack Merritt second with 7.19. Paddy Mann uh, in third, 7.17. Josh or Jay De Silva in fourth for Charlton, 7.13. And Ashley Eastham in fourth for 7.10. Oh. <coughs> 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 mm. Ashley Eastham wraps up the top five with a 7.10 average rating. So Rovers finishing second this season. How about the rest of the uh, rest of the divisions? Let's go back and take a look at the Premiership. Oh, it looks like Manchester United topped the table here with 82 points. Uh, in second place, Arsenal finished with 80 points. Man City in third, 79 points. And Liverpool wrap up the top four. So they will all be playing Champions League football next season. As for the bottom, West Ham, Huddersfield and Swansea will be joining Blackburn in the Championship next season. Speaking of the Championship, if we go the right way. I'm going the wrong way. Get back up there. Uh, boom. There we go. Oh, so Fulham are the uh, champions of the uh, championship. And they are joined by Brentford, who snuck in there in second place. Looks like Sheffield Wednesday will be joining them uh, via the playoffs after overcoming Aston Villa, Sunderland and Reading in the playoffs. As for the bottom three, Sheffield United, Bristol City and Burton will be playing... League One football. And speaking of League One, we did look at the table earlier. Wigan and Blackburn are through, as are Charlton, who squeezed through the back door of the playoffs. As for the bottom end of the table, Oldham, Berry, Rochdale and Plymouth, they'll be playing League Two football. And let's go and take a look at the League Two table. To wrap this baby up, Notts not County are the champions. Exeter and Coventry will be going up automatically. And Lincoln join them by going through the, the playoffs. Forest Green and Crawley wrap it up. They go into National League football after being relegated. So let's back it up a hair and take a look. So big Roy Hodgson, despite being a high caliber name, 50 grand a week, could only manage second place and 82 points. And that tally puts him towards the bottom end of the table. A better better than Paul Lambert, but um, it's, not, it's not really difficult to get better than Paul Lambert at the moment, who actually finished seventh with 72 points. But not as good as Owen Coyle, which is a surprise, who has 86 points. But anyway, join me again tomorrow for yet another experiment, I think. And I think... It is actually going to be uh, King Kenny Dalgleish next, but uh, correct me if I'm wrong. But anyway, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. If you are new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. I'll keep you bang up to date with all things Blackburn Rovers and Football Manager, baby.